For today's video, I'm going to be sharing a few tips on overcoming procrastination and these tips have personally worked for me and I hope they'll work for you as well. But before I start off with the tips, if you feel like you're procrastinating, then you really need to acknowledge the fact that you are procrastinating. You cannot solve a problem until you admit that the, that the problem actually exists. You can spend all day procrastinating if you are not willing to admit that you are procrastinating. There's nothing to be ashamed of in reality because we all procrastinate from time to time. So having said that, let's move on now to the tips. Tip number one, do not make a mountain out of a molehill. In other words, stop telling yourself that your career, the future of your business, and at times even success in life hinges on the outcome of this one action that you have to take at this moment. If you do this, you're going to be putting so much of pressure on yourself that you'll be looking for any excuse to avoid taking that particular necessary action. Moving on, tip number two. Remind yourself that there's always more to be done than can be done. Then make a smart to-do list by including only the items that you are avoiding, not the ones you know that you will do anyway. And last but not least, set realistic deadlines. Tip number three. Procrastination often results when you are overwhelmed by the enormity of a task. Staring at a task like start a business or launch a website on your to-do list can seem to be a little bit daunting. So success actually depends on your ability to break down a big project into a series of smaller steps, ones that you can actually act on. By breaking the task down, you lessen the sense of being overwhelmed. And once you start to enjoy an accomplishment or two, you're more likely to keep going on and on until you finish. Tip number four. Study your natural rhythms and habits. The wise saying, early to bed, early to rise, doesn't necessarily apply to everyone. Some people are morning people, others are night owls. The key though, is to understand when your personal productivity hours kick in and take advantage of them for the most difficult or high priority tasks. For example, if you are a morning person, use the early hours of the morning to tackle one of the most challenging tasks in your to-do list. Finally, I wrap off by reminding you that perfection is unnecessary. Perfectionism is one of the biggest sources of procrastination. You end up wanting to wait until you can do something perfectly before you even start. Unfortunately, you will never ever be able to do anything perfectly as things can always be improved. Therefore, you never actually get around to starting, at least not until a deadline looms over your head and you're left rushing to get the job done on time. The truth is that perfection is neither achievable nor necessary. You can only be expected to do your best. Therefore, Kick procrastination and strive, strive for excellence instead of perfection in whatever you do. And know that you are a person, if you kick this habit, you're going to be able to achieve great heights and scale great heights. Therefore, let's work together, let's apply these tips and achieve great heights.